Hello everyone, welcome to Everest Ice and Water. Today we're gonna to cover one of the biggest advantages an Everest machine can offer in simplicity, reliability, and profitability, and it's our one moving part ice dispensing system called VersaVend. Before we begin, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. That way you can keep up with everything we're doing here at Everest, and don't forget to like the video, it really helps. From the very beginning, the Everest VX ice and water vending machine was conceptualized, designed, and produced to be the ultimate in simplicity, reliability, and profitability. Materials, components, and its design were all intentionally considered in its construction. One of the main issues with other machines is the sheer number of complicated mechanisms and moving parts that are required just to dispense ice. Any one of these dozens of components could fail and put you out of business for days or sometimes weeks, depending on parts availability and shipping. These companies also charge some hefty maintenance fees. Don't pay extra for bad engineering. The designs of these antiquated machines are far from efficient. For instance, in the competitor's machines, ice is kept in a rectangular bin. In the center of the bin is what's called a beater bar, and it rotates in a circle to agitate the ice to prevent it from solidifying and jamming up the machine. But only the ice within the bar's reach is agitated. Everything else in the corners is left untouched, and the ice that is within reach of the beater bar is just pounded into dust. Crushed ice does have its place, but not for ice vending customers. Then there's the auger, a rotating spiral that's used to get the ice up and out of the bin. It's so inefficient because it has to move the ice up the opposite direction of gravity. Once it's at the top of the auger, a blower motor is used to inflate a bag filling it with air so the ice can fall in. As the ice is being dumped in, a proximity sensor detects how much ice is in the bag. Then a magnetic door opens up and allows the bag to fall down the chute to the customer. So let's recap. The ice maker dumps ice into the bin. A spinning beater bar, driven by an electric motor, agitates most of the ice. The ice then gets shoved onto an auger, driven by another electric motor, that has to carry it up and out of the bin. It's dumped into a hopper, where a blower motor fills a single bag with air so that the ice can fall in. Then a proximity sensor decides when the bag is full and then triggers a magnetic door to allow the open bag to fall out of the machine. And all of this is controlled by a pretty complicated computer system. Everest simplified this entire process. For starters, there's only one electric motor. It's a two horsepower unit and it's running through a Cleveland Gear Company gearbox that's originally built for the mining industry. Attach that to a rotating drum capable of holding 550 pounds of ice. Every time ice is vended, the entire barrel rotates, which dispenses 10 pounds of ice and it agitates the entire ice stock. No ice cube is left unturned, so there's never a jam. In fact, our machines have over 7 million consecutive ice vins without a single jam. No chains to lubricate, no belts to maintain, and no corner ice left untouched. Less potential downtime, fewer parts to break or malfunction, less labor, more time up and running, more time making profits, and an easier ownership experience. Would you rather have this or this? VersaVend is the ultimate in simplicity and reliability. In this case, less really is more. VersaVend is just another way that Everest is moving the ice vending industry forward. Do you want to learn more? Click the link in the description below or send us an email at sales at everesticeandwater.com to speak with an equipment specialist today. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.